Hey guys, welcome back to my NFL predictions. Um, today I'm going to be doing the Buccaneers. I've done all the NFC East, all the NFC West, and all the NFC North, and now I've done the Falcons of the NFC South. Okay, so this the Buccaneers. Here's what I'm thinking: y'all are probably gonna get better than you were last season, like maybe a playoff berth. But I think in the coming years. I think y'all are going to start to become a force in this league, okay? I think this year you might be around 8-8. Eight and eight. I don't know yet, okay? I've kind of... I always say, like, what I think a team's going to be. Like, I think a team's going to be good. Like, I, I said that I thought the Seahawks were going to be great. I thought I would rank them as, like, 12-4. and four. But then I made them go 8-8. Eight and eight. I don't know. So, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to make the Buccaneers do pretty, pretty mediocre, all right? Maybe a playoff berth. All right, here you go. Week one. This is going to be a test. Are the Buccaneers going to be an elite team this year? And I say no. I think the Saints um, are going to, probably going to dominate this division this year. Next year, I think it's going to be a fight. This division is going to kind of it's going to be anyone's division, really. But week two against the Panthers. The Panthers really, in the offseason with free agency and all, they completely demolished their offense. They ravaged their offensive. I mean, really... Everyone knew the Panthers because of Cam, Luke, Greg, and um, McCaffrey. They got rid of Cam, Luke, and Greg. That's that's insane. And I think the Buccaneers can probably pretty swiftly beat the Panthers there. And then Buccaneers, Broncos. I think the Broncos, they're a pretty subpar team. And I think the Buccaneers can take care of business there. Week four, this will be interesting. You're probably going to have a rookie quarterback going up against Tom Brady. And I think the rookie quarterback shows him how it's done. Cool. I think he, this is like a real booster for the Chargers because they basically beat um, Patriots 2.0. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if the Buccaneers, you know, next year started to hire in like Bill Belichick. You know, got all the players from the Patriots. All right. Buccaneers, Bears. Alright, um, I think this is going to be a game where Mitchell Trubisky's in there. And Mitchell Trubisky's not a very good quarterback. And I think the Buccaneers kind of go in there and they're going to be ahead. I don't think this is going to be a surprise to anyone when the Buccaneers beat the Bears. It's like the Buccaneers are a completely different team this year. Because one of the main reasons why they only went like 7-9 and nine last year was because Jameis Winston threw 30 interceptions last year. Okay, and Tom Brady, he doesn't throw interceptions, okay? So I think the Buccaneers are going to get better. And then Buccaneers, Packers, another elite team, and another big loss. The Packers, it's just pretty simple. All right, Buccaneers, Raiders. This is going to be a good game, um, a very winnable game for the Buccaneers. And I think when it's winnable, they're going to win it. Because Tom Brady, um, he's going to take every single opportunity that he has to show that, yes, our team is going to be great. Okay, Maybe we're not going to be elite this year, but maybe next year. And then up against the Giants again. The Giants are going to be very good in the next few years. I have a feeling that the Giants and the Redskins are going to take over the NFC East. And that whole division is going to flip. But for right now, the Buccaneers can win. All right, now they've got a home game. They're 5-2. and two. And once again, I think the Saints beat them. Okay, I think this might be a, this might be a fight for the division. Who knows? All right, and then the Panthers coming back for a revenge. And I think they get that revenge. I think Teddy Bridgewater has now gotten into the motions. He's in there with the Panthers. And I think they beat the Buccaneers. I don't think the Panthers are in so much of a rebuild as in they're kind of transitioning. They're going from the Cam, Luke Keekly, you know, Luke games to, you know, Teddy Bridgewater and McCaffrey. <laughs> All right, then up against the Rams. All right, the Rams are... They're going to be mediocre, okay? And like I, I, I said, that I thought that Tom Brady was going to take every opportunity to win. But I think the Rams take this opportunity and beat the team, okay? Now, Chiefs and Buccaneers. It's, see, I think that if Tom Brady had stayed with the Patriots, I think this would have been a great rivalry. And who knows, maybe it will. Um, Buccaneers, Chiefs. Um, I think that Tom Brady actually upsets the Chiefs, though. I think that, you know, he shows everybody that, hey, we are not that bad, okay? All right, then going up against the Vikings, um, they beat a pretty good team 
in two weeks before, but I think the Vikings won this. All right, and then going into week fifteen, um, you know the Falcons, they're going to be pretty bad. I think at this point, you know the Buccaneers are six and seven. They really just need to get this season over with. I mean, they're probably not going to make the playoffs. And the Falcons put him out of their misery. Matt Ryan, you know, he probably he gets revenge for Super Bowl 51, I think. And he's he's probably really happy. All right, Buccaneers, Lions. Um, I think I think the Buccaneers win this. Um, I mean, the Lions, they were pretty consistent last year. They were okay, but they kept on losing and losing. And then in the last week, um, I think the Falcons at this point are in a worse spot for um than them and I think the the Falcons probably throw this game and that the Buccaneers win. So eight and eight, okay? See once again. I to, I I predicted that perfectly. Alright, so y'all go five and three in the first half and then y'all fall apart towards the end and y'all go two and five. Wait, no. I don't know what I'm saying. Y'all go three and five and then five and three. Alright, so I will see you guys and I think next year that the Buccaneers will probably Next year, the Buccaneers will probably be competing with Drew Brees. But for now, I say goodbye. Um, next year, things will be better, Buccaneers. Bye.